Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have super interesting and exciting video because I got myself a NeuroSim device. This device is supposed to help with vagus nerve stimulation and it literally has just arrived. I didn't even open it yet. So we're gonna go through opening it and I'm gonna show you what's exactly in the box. So let's get started. So the box looks like this. And here inside we have our device. As you can see, it's very small. It looks like a remote. Inside we have some sort of booklet, I think. So let's open it up. And we have our instruction guide. I will tell you guys as well, the customer care in Neurosim is amazing. They have already sent me multiple emails that they took a survey to ask if I have any medical conditions, what am I going to use it for, are, are there any concerns, etc. And, and now we have another layer, going to open it up. And we have our earpiece here. So this is how the earpiece looks like. So um, I suppose that I'm going to be putting on my tragus. Ooh, putting it on my tragus and putting it around my ear. Surely it will take some um, adjustments. I'm going to show you guys in a couple of hours how I'm actually going to use it for the first time. We will see if it stays on my ear. I have very small ears. I think this back portion is a bit tricky when you're wearing glasses, <laughs> but we're going to figure it out. We can just put it under. Oh, I see. Okay. So when you're actually putting it on, it was written in the instruction, but I didn't read it through. You can mold this to your ear. So now it stays on perfectly. I was just putting it around. Well, guys, you have, you have live, uh, live reaction here. And here we have a charger as well for that. And I believe, oh no, there's more. What's that? Oh, you have a little pouch. How cool is that? So if you're traveling with it, you can just pack everything inside, which I'm actually going to do. And I'm going to have it right next to my bed or next to my sofa for using it in the evening. I'm not sure if it comes charged, so I'm going to have to check that. But maybe I'll try to turn it on. Nothing is plugged in at the minute. Yes, it's turning on. OK. And it's showing me something, I guess, power. But we're going to figure it out later, later on in the evening. So now I'm going to tell you guys uh, why I've gotten it and what I hope to be getting from it. So as you guys know, I have PCOS, I have endometriosis, I have now, which you guys might not know, I also have arrhythmia, arrhythmia tachycardia and I have IBS. So when I've been researching all of those things, there is one thing that always comes back, which is vague vagus nerve stimulation like the answer to my arrhythmia was vagus nerve, nerve stimulation to ibs i hear all the adverts about vagus nerve, nerve stimulation blah 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 so i'll keep you guys posted and uh, let's move to my first usage right we're going full vlog style here so have my machine i just washed my tragus tragus with uh, soapy water i'm a bit scared i'm not gonna lie so i'm gonna put it like this Put it on my ear and mold it. Okay. So now I'm supposed to turn it on by pressing long. Okay, it's on. I'm setting it up for 30 minutes, but will I just last 15 for the first time? I don't know because I don't know how it feels. <laughs> so let's just try now. I know, 30 minutes. Enter. Okay, and now it's showing us the number. So now I'm going to increase the number until I feel pulsating sensation, but that it's not sharp. Oh, I start feeling tingling at 23. Oh, oh, it might be it actually. Let's just readjust this slightly. I don't know how far it should be on. Oh, that's nice. It, it feels like, oh, it's nice actually. It feels like someone is gently tapping your tragus. I'm on 30. And I think I'm going to, am I? Let's just see what happens if I put it, for, no, 31 is too much. No, mm -mm. I 
I think 30 is, is correct, okay. So now I go enter and now it's already going. So now there are some ways to lower it down if it becomes more intense, but I'm not going to do that now. And uh, I have pretty okay day today because I'm, I'm checking my wellness on my app. Actually, it might be a bit too strong. What happens if it? Okay, so if I click a couple of times, it's straight away, it's easier to reduce but I have to figure out how can I increase. Yeah, because, you know, I, I never done this before, so it can be a bit sensitive. Right, well, that's it. First session. I'll let you know after how it went. Session one finished. I feel relaxed. Is it placebo? I don't know. No redness. Or is there redness? Maybe slightly. It was very nice. It feels like your eyes are warm. <laughs> if I could describe it, you feel like fuzzy in the head and you feel like your eyes are warm. Yeah. It was quite nice. It's, it's relaxing. I, I would recommend it. Can't say anything for sure. So next checkup I'll do, I think in a week, uh, just so I can tell you guys how it went uh, and if I see any changes. Hi, so it's been a week using Neurosim and a um, few things that I definitely noticed. One is my digestion. Things are more regular and let's call them formed. <laughs> this is one thing. Second of all, I had a first day uh, in a long time when my brain just felt quiet, which is very interesting. And I was like, is that a thing with Neurosim? So I actually uh, searched for it and it says, yes, reduction in anxious thoughts might happen up to 35% or something. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm experiencing that. That said, it's still quite early because it's been a few days. I'm also in my luteal phase now, so I am a bit up and down as well. Um, and, you know, with women, it's always harder because you just don't know what is doing what. Are your hormones changing something? Or is the device? But so far, I think it is working and I feel way less stressed. So yeah, talk to you in another week. So guys, it has been two weeks and I have my final review of Neurosim for you. As you can see, I have it here with me uh, in my pretty pouch. I don't think I managed to show you that last time. And I have some notes uh, that I have actually written down with how have I, I have been feeling and what have I been noticing for the past two weeks. So first of all, uh, the first difference that I noticed is that my brain feels like a bit slower and a bit calmer. And what do I mean by that is that I have a lot of racing thoughts and I am very efficient in my work. I get really, really stressed in my work and I, and I always juggle a million things in my head. Uh, but Neurosim is helping me kind of switch it off and it's not like it's sedating you in a way. You're still focused, but you're able to think clearer in a way. So I had that situation at work when all of a sudden a lot of clients wanted a lot of things really quick. And uh, usually it le leaves me very like shaky and like almost like jittery after coffee, like, like wired. Um, and I got my Neurosim with me. I use it 20 minutes in the office. By the way, it's a great thing that it's so discreet because I could use it in the office. And it passed. It like, it really calmed me down. Uh, so that is really, really good. Now, a second thing that I have noticed is I think my workout recovery have improved. So I noticed that, that my muscle soreness, but also specific aches that I've had because I had back pain, this is probably something a little bit uh, separate, but my recovery from workouts, it's faster. Um, I think it's because, you know, I spend more time in recovery mode in general throughout the day. Um, rather than being in a stressed state, especially even in the evenings, in the midweek, this is something that I noticed the most difference in. Uh, so my recovery definitely is better. Also, my back pain, which has been bad for me for many months, and I've been going to physio, it hasn't been helping. Uh, I mean, I've been doing core workouts as well, so it's probably like 50-50 what helped, but uh, I feel that my lower back is also possibly just recovering more in between. And in general, combined with more core training, because um, my back pain is just from the bad posture, I think when I'm lifting something 
is completely off and I'm trying to address it now. Um, it's been hurting a little bit less. Another major thing, and this is something that I noticed already after five days, and it's bizarre, is that my digestion improved. So I've been diagnosed with many things in my life. I have PCOS, I have endometriosis, I have uh, IBS, um, and uh, I have arrhythmia tachycardia. Anyway, digestion. So I have IBS and normally because I'm really looking after myself, I have a healthy diet, la la la. It's not so bad, but there was one thing I could never address, which was bloating and gas as well, but bloating in general. I noticed that my tummy is much more flat and without getting into much details, something I noticed after five days is that the things were a little bit more formed. Let's just leave it at that. So that was bizarre to me um, and something that I didn't expect, especially so fast. Uh, if it goes to my mood, in general, it really improves my mood. It's very pleasant. Like it's, it's a bit strange feeling when you put it on the first time because um, they say it's like a tingling or pulsating sensation. Uh, by the way, I'm going to say what setting I'm using it on. It's very personal, but I was curious myself, so I'm going to tell you. I use it most often around setting 30. And um, for me, it's, it's not sharp. It can get sharp if I put it a little bit too high, but it's kind of like a tapping, tapping in, in your ear. That's how it feels. And it's really nice. It makes my brain feel warm and fuzzy and my eyes feel warm and fuzzy. Um, but my mood definitely uh, is improved, I think, because I also have less anxious thoughts, because my mind is a bit quieter. Uh, now, uh, I use it during the day and in the evening. I do 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon. I have been playing a little bit of doing two shorter sessions throughout the day and then longer in the, in the evening. Um, however, what I notice most is the evening use. And I think after the evening use i am much more chilled much more calm i chill on my sofa feels really nice yeah what i wanted to say as well is that customer service is excellent um, and they also send you a lot of useful information when you're starting using it um, so that's really really great and um, what it reminds me of this is what i wanted to say as well is the results uh, where I quit alcohol. So um, I now haven't been drinking for 10 months, something like that, because I had my stomach problems, I had reflux, whatever. Um, and I, you know, I had a couple of drinks on Friday after being wired, after having racing thoughts, just to calm myself down a little bit. Um, not much, but you know, we're talking a couple of glasses of wine. So when I quit it, I actually noticed that overall I was less anxious. But that result I have seen in the longer term, like it was, it was quite subtle um, in a way that you just think you're having a good day. Um, so I compare neurosim with that. Like I feel good. I feel calmer. And, you know, you sometimes think, is it just, is it just me now, you know? But it definitely has helped and uh, it definitely reduces that wired feeling that I often feel. Um, so yeah, so this is my review after two weeks of using Neurosim. Overall, I'm super happy and I'm going to continue using it daily. If you want me to make more videos about it, please let me know. But yeah, that was my review of Neurosim overall. In general, I would recommend trying it. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you want to see more videos on that subject. And don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified about future videos.